on YouTube is through the Inferno. So today we're gonna talk about side decking in the samurai matchup. Now, what do you side in for the samurai matchup? Okay, let's talk it out. Two fairy wins. Two fairy wins are so good. I, as I've talked about before, um, this is good in the samurai matchup because um, they break up all their power plays. Um, their Gateway, Dojo, Six Sam United. It also destroys back rows um, that they side in, like Deep Dimensional Fissure and uh, Rivalry of Warlords. So, Fairy Wind is really good. Okay, and you have two puppet plants, obviously, um, to take their um, take their Sheans and take their whatever okay, that you need. Um, if you're going first, I would side in the two Thunder Kings. If not, I would side in one Thunder King. Okay. Um, we side in the Torrential Tribute. And the Malevolent Catastrophe. Alright. So you are at seven cards. And I guess let's pretend you are going first. And also, oh, I forgot this one. Max C. So we are at nine cards. So what are the nine cards that we side out? Okay, so this is gonna look very similar again because uh, I usually side out the same cards. Two malicious, one swap frog, one true bone frog, and a troll. One genex control, one genex undie, one enemy troll, one pot of virus. Now one more card. What else would we side out against Samurai? Okay, so let's think. Especially if you go first against Samurai. What would you like to have? You wouldn't side out your MSTs, you'd like to have that. Your Book of Moon? No, I'd like to have that too. So, okay, let's also think. What else would do people, what do Samurai side against you? Mm, that's interesting. In my side, Robber Warlords? Check, Fairy Wind. Dimensional Fissure? Check. Fairy Wind. Do they side DD Crow? Not exactly, but let's say they do side 1. Okay. Big whoop. So, what else is not that necessary in this matchup? Let's take a look through the deck. Okay. Never ever side out your Plant Engine or your Tengu Engine. Not very good. Don't side out your Gores in this matchup because Gores is going to save you, as is Trigodia. So don't side that out. Would you get out your Caius? No. Why Why would you not take out your Caius? Because if you puppet plant and you have no other way to get rid of it, you Caius them. Okay. Did you take out a Veiler? Mm, maybe. No. No. I was just kidding. Do not take out a Veiler. Okay. So, you know, what did I end up doing? Maybe... Oh, I remember. Okay. Uh, first of all, I didn't have this Maxi. It was a puppet plant. And this Thunder King, I went for, I went second game too. So I left it in. But if you really had to choose, I would probably take out another... Uh, take out a... Oh, this is interesting, actually. I decided to take out a Lone Fire. Huh. Interesting. I remember doing that now. Um, it was very interesting. I don't remember why I did it. But it ended up working out. But I don't really suggest that. Um, I think what I would lo most likely do if I was doing it now would just be to take out another pot of avarice. Just because DD Crow for you, pot of avarice is like, almost like a minus two. Um, you you lose a card in your graveyard and your pot of avarice doesn't go off. So I probably would take out another pot of avarice. All right, and that's it for this video, guys. Um, stay tuned, the next video I will be doing is on the Herald matchup. Reason Inferno, signing out.